Hello, Rustin friends. Have you ever been sitting outside under the stars on a starry night doing an assembly project and just look up to see the most beautiful night sky? Well, that is what I have brought for you here today. My project, Shining Stars, simulates a night sky with five random stars that pulsate, simulating what the night sky looks like. Now, to create this program, I first created my colors here and basically created, used a new um, V0 command to create random numbers and then place those, um, use those numbers to create stars across the bitmap display. Now, how, but that's not enough. That's boring. That doesn't capture the full assembly project under the night sky experience that I'm trying to, to display to you. So what did I do? Well, I also made stars do a twinkle in, which is the first outer pixels surrounding the star, or pixel, will uh, will show, sorry. Now, that's still not enough, because that does not capture the fire inside of your heart when doing an assembly project under the night sky. So, let's look at what else we did. So, we also have what's called Twinkle Out. Now, Twinkle Out works very similarly to Twinkle In, However, Twinkle Out handles the outside pixels from the first twinkle. But you may be confused about all this, so why don't we just go straight into it. So let's switch on over to our bitmap display. So first we need to configure it. Let's go into 8 by 8 and display width. We're going to make it 512 and 512. Now that we have resized it, we can hit connect to MIPS, go back to our scene, assemble it, and I'm actually going to switch back over to the bitmap display and then run it so you guys can see what it looks like in its full glory. So that's star 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They all twinkle in the night sky. And I actually made an effort to make it work with different unit heights. So it is supposed to, in fact, be 8 by 8, but it works 8 by 4. So let's see what happens when we run it 8 by 8. Wow. Now that's the that's the assembly night sky that I, if I ever seen one. So well, how do I control it to make it go not go forever? Well, basically, every time you see a full pulsation, a full going from the in to the out, and then going back to the single star, counts as one tick. And after a hundred ticks are met, the program stops running. And you can then stop it and get yourself a brand new night sky. Thank you very much for watching my demo. I hope you enjoyed what you see. And this is Jacob signing off.